right, so I, I, I screwed up and I'm gonna take play for that. So I have to do better on this, this exit over here, all right? <laughs> to Aston Martin, Star Motors, Houston. We are gonna check out a brand new whip for you today. It's supposed to be the most powerful SUV on the market. We'll find out. TBX. Welcome to Aston Martin Star Motors. To my right, we have what I drove with Aston Martin Star Motors uh, maybe a year ago. The DBX, uh, the, uh, the standard model, and to my left, we got the 707. Can you tell the difference? Immediately you can tell the difference. Up front, the, fr the freaking grill is way more aggressive. <laughs> On the 707, that knob is huge. I like the the way they open up the the air vents to be a little bit more aggressive versus those those holes uh, to to cool the brakes. Uh, I assume that's kind of the same purpose here. You got the oil coolers up front, the radiator, headlights look strikingly resemblance of the old model. Never need to really change the headlights whenever you're upgrading performance models, right? Side of the car. Like the profile, the lines obviously are Aston Martin uh, lines that we're familiar with, especially with that fender strike. Uh, I love that little spoiler on the back of the the uh, trunk lid, and then that scoop, that ducktail scoop that uh, you see on a lot of Aston Martin uh, cars. I can guarantee there's going to be a difference in the wheels. They are, what are they in the back? I always can't find the number immediately. 22s, 22s on this side. It honestly looks the same as far as the profile shot. Hood line looks the same. That little sh sharp edge that kind of carries the, the, the length of the body. And then the fender strake with the fender vent. The traditional Aston Martin door handle is still the same. We got that duck bill at the end. We got a little bit longer spoiler here with a little extension of carbon fiber, which I like. Oh, come on, come on. Who doesn't like carbon fiber, right? <laughs> oh, and I didn't even see this, but there is an extra little bit of uh, the rear splitter extending out for some aero. Looks pretty aggressive. <laughs> I like it. We'll go back over here and see it. Oh, 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 and then the side skirts I see now. That is a difference over there between here. Side skirts little, look a little bit more aggressive. They have some lines to it, a little curvature. Not really much on a, a side skirt here, but uh, yeah, the uh, the splitter on the back of this, not there. Just a nice little smooth flow. As for the wheels, I'm assuming 23s. Boom, 23s, 285s up front. In the back, we have 325s, solid choice, solid, meaty, 
Fatty choice. It's not going to be a cold, cold start, but I want to hear the rumble whenever he starts it up. I'm going to give him a countdown of three, two, one. A little verbal. <laughs> and a little rub. <laughs> I'm excited to hop in this bad boy and check out the interior. Of course, the best thing about Aston Martins, and I'm gonna commit to it. I'm a, I'm the biggest fan of the interior. The leathers they choose, the styling they choose. It is something that always speaks to me immediately with the 707. I mean, the expectation is carbon fiber everywhere, right? Yeah, that's the <laughs> carbon fiber everywhere. Although I did read that the, the weight is still up there. Do you know the weight? Do you know the curb weight of this? I do not know. 4,000, 4,500, something like that maybe? And there's my baby over there sitting pretty. We have what, 700 horsepower? 700 horsepower. 700 yes, horsepower. Uh, we got a V8 twin turbo, fastest production SUV. We're gonna do it in sport. On the, on the back. Sport plus. On the market, I like it. We'll do a... Yeah, this is the first time for both of us. I love it. He's giving me a warm up. He's not going full throttle yet. <laughs> he will though, because I have full expectation for a thrill of my life. Can do. Let's see what we got. This is awesome. Like, we only have like three in the country right now. Yes. Ooh, and then those brakes. Solid brakes. Big old dinner plates. Big old dinner plates. <laughs> 23 inch wheels pushing this acceleration. It felt good. Really good. And the sound for sport, regular sport, right? Regular sport. Not sport plus. Yeah, not sport plus. <laughs> let's see how it takes this corner. Let's see. Come on. Let's bring it. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's how you take a corner. Somebody does that. Ooh, and then the breaking into the corner. Yes, come on, bring it. Yeah, that's how you drive. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is fun. For an SUV, are you kidding me? This thing's a beast. That is a beast. Take your family and your kids in this thing. They will be smiling bigger than me. Nah, nah, I have the biggest smile. <laughs> <laughs> so just from uh, an interior standpoint, just to go back to that conversation, the way they do the, the contrast, leather, the white, the blue, the green, that racing, Aston Martin racing green, I don't know what color it's called, but you see it on all the racing cars, especially the heritage ones. It is perfect and fitting. All right, the time has come. I get to get a, a seat time behind this. <laughs> Ooh, give me one, give me one. So good. You gotta admire that. It's so good. All right, all right. The time has come. Well, the second best driver in this car to get a run at it. <laughs> we made it tied. <laughs> there we go. We're tied. All over in this vehicle. Paddle shifters it's looking roomy. good. Roomy. Roomy. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's a little bit taller than me, so my short legs have to get a little bit closer to the front. <laughs> All right, we're rolling up the windows to get the full, full effect. All right. Oh, I'm not used to this. <laughs> I should be. <laughs> I have a stick shift. These automatics are different. My V12 will be similar. <laughs> there you go. My new V12 will be similar. <laughs> exit over here all right I'm shifting I'm not gonna let it shift we're gonna get this Ha <laughs> ha 
I think it's freaking phenomenal. Let's go. <laughs> that was fun. That was so much fun. That's Audience, a car. this car is, is top tier. It is. It feels powerful. 700 horsepower. What do you guys think? Let's go. Make sure to smash the subscribe. Hit the like. Hit that follow. We're going to bring you more content. And thank you, Star Motors, for uh, letting us uh, experience this car. I didn't ask. Is this like a, oh. a complete... Yeah, I got to give you a little bit about the comfort of this car before we shut this down. I'm almost out of battery, but I didn't. we didn't put it in comfort because it was a short test drive. The idea here was to show you the power because we know the comfort in that guy was phenomenal. Once you put it in the GT, the touring mode, it just like floats over bumps. So the, uh, the need for, for us to revisit that, I don't think it's necessary, but what we wanted to see was the power and what we got to see was the power. And uh, now I remember we have to press buttons to, to, to get things yeah. situated here. I can't just press my freaking uh, uh, neutral stick shift. But uh, last bit on the interior, carbon fiber bits, contrast stitching, carbon fiber shift panels, which I like. And apologies for my shifting earlier. <laughs> I'll learn how to better drive. I told you I was the second best driver in this car. And just that moonroof. I mean, I, I mean, That's I'm sold. I want to go out into the desert roads, country roads, and just have that stars, have those stars lit up in the in the sky through that sunroof. Thanks again for letting us take course, this out. Of course, it's phenomenal. All right, rock and roll. Racing and life. Anything that happened before or after. Just waiting.